Well, after a few weeks of rumors, it's finally official. The digital storefronts for the PlayStation 3, PSP, and PS Vita are all going to go offline later this year. And while this isn't necessarily surprising, it's just yet another reminder of the existential nightmare facing game preservation and the fact that we just do not have a good permanent solution for this crap yet. I find it especially funny that all this stuff got announced within like 48 hours or so of Mario Apocalypse Day. You know, the, uh, the last day upon which Nintendo will permit us to purchase some of the most important games in their back catalog, including one of the most important games ever made, complete, of course, with a whole host of emulation-related bugs and glitches that were fixed by amateurs years ago. 20 or 30 years from now, they're gonna make a movie like Hugo, except it'll be about video games, and instead of being about George Melies, it'll be about Shigeru Miyamoto, and instead of being about restoring this great man's confidence and showing him that his work is appreciated, Shigeru Miyamoto will be the main antagonist inside of Wolfenstein armor. You perplex me, gamers, but you do not scare me. I have plenty to say about the uh, Mario 3D All-Star situation, but not much that has not already been said by, you know, everybody, <laughs> since it's a transparently pants on head stupid situation. But I do want to talk about the PlayStation Store. Like I said before, it's not unexpected, but the fact that it's expected is kind of part of the problem and doesn't make it any better. You don't just have a bunch of digital games that were only released on these platforms, you also have an entire back catalog of PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games that have never been re-released in any kind of format and probably never will be. Some of you may not remember this, but it was actually a pretty big deal when Suicoden 2 got added to the PlayStation 1 Classics list because it's one of the rarest, hardest to purchase physical PS1 games out there, and it's never had any form of re-release other than this, as far as I'm aware, and I mean, come on, Konami is- we all- Konami is not gonna waste their time redistributing this thing again at some point in the future. They didn't even bother to upload screenshots and trailers at a proper resolution when they did put it on the PlayStation Store. If you do want to brave the terribly designed PlayStation 3 Store to actually legally purchase some PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 classic games instead of going straight to the emulators, uh, you may have some difficulties since there isn't really a proper, like, page for the classic games, and even if you go to, like, put it in the filter of show me all the PS1 classic games or PS2 classic games, it doesn't actually display all of them. Like, for whatever reason, Parasite Eve 2 is here, but Parasite Eve 1 isn't listed. Virtual Missions is listed, but actual Metal Gear Solid isn't. So if you're gonna go and try to find stuff, I recommend Googling a list of, you know, PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 classic games available on PS3, PSP, and Vita, and doing a direct search within the store, because they may not show up if you're just perusing through the listings on the actual store, which is still embarrassing, but of course, you know, it's not like it's gonna get fixed at this point. I, for one, can't wait to see the riots when Microsoft announces they're shutting down all online functionality for the Xbox 360. <laughs> Now they have said, and I'm not quite sure how this is supposed to work, they've said that even after the storefronts go down, you will still be able to re-download any of your old purchases, you just won't be able to make new ones, which I guess means that there will still be a server out there somewhere with all the game data on it. They're probably just waiting a year or two to take that down so they can do it a bit more quietly and have it be a smaller news story. I just, I don't know, I, just, I, I mentioned Hugo and Georges Méliès earlier in this, and it's like, it took decades and decades for the film industry and even film academia to start taking film preservation seriously, and we lost so much during that time period. I mean, I, I know that there are other complexities with video games. They're designed for specific hardware. That means that porting them elsewhere can be difficult. And I, I know I shouldn't expect anything from big companies when it comes to preserving stuff that they aren't gonna be able to turn a major profit on. But I mean, I don't know. I can buy DVDs for movies that came out 70 years ago and that weren't even that well received and nobody cared about when they came out. So why can't I buy a game from 10 years ago? You just think that someone, somewhere in the industry in a professional capacity, would care about this and be doing something, but it doesn't seem like anybody is. Which is precisely why pirates are the only heroes we can count on. As per usual, mateys, it seems the only reasonable course of action is a trip down to their local bay. Piracy is currently the only viable approach to game preservation. You have brought this fate upon yourself, Shigeru Miyamoto. I'm morally obligated to pirate your games. Ha 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 ha. 